All praise to the Most High, the Shem Mashiach, the one that the whole world called ignorantly Jesus Christ. Brother and sister, welcome again on my YouTube channel, the brother Gontran or Frank for some of you. So I'm coming today to make a video. <clears throat> This thing came up almost like a, more than a week ago, almost two weeks ago, but yesterday there was another update. So I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna put it right off in, on my computer, I mean from uh, my, my phone. This happened like almost like a week or two weeks ago, right? So right here, as you can see, you can read the title, right? It says China, say China is launching artificial moon in urban area, right? So as you can see, right i hope you can you can see literally right so like i encourage you brother and sister to go research it and read about it so why am i bringing this out all these were bible prophecy this thing happened with bible prophecy so for many of you so-called christian you had to read or to listen to the bible or somebody bringing our precept right so the most he made it clear from the day one right so where is china located we shall find it out soon, right? I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to pull, you know, I'm going to bring some uh, some detail, right? So remember, so the topic, the main topic was what? China is launching artificial moon into space. Okay, cool. Let's see. Bear with me one second. So I just want to have some image ready. So before I start bringing out the scripture. So, because the subject matter right here is about China, but it's just China? No. So, we shall figure it out. We shall find it out soon. So, without any further ado, I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, <coughs> and verses 20. Let me go to the book of Isaiah. So, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verses 20. It said to the Lord, and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So, that's why I came across this article, right? The first thing that popped into my mind was the scripture in the book of Esdras, right? The book of Ezra mostly, the book of Job, but I'll stay mostly in the book of Esdras, you know, second, second Ezra chapter 13, second Ezra chapter 15, right? Something like that. Now, before that, I got to give you the basic. That's what I'm saying. So whatever you do, you want to name your baby. You want to do, you got to do it based on the most high. Go to the Bible and seek for a name that fits your baby. You have an issue with your wife, with your husband. You got to sit down, open the Bible and find it out. Whatever you need is in the Bible. The Bible is the book of life. Each one of us will be judged based on the Bible. Whether you believe it or not, you're going to be judged based on the Bible. Why? Because whatever we're supposed to do are written in this book. And what we are not supposed to do are written here as well. And this is who? This is Christ. This whole Bible is all about Christ. It's not about Mohammed. It's not about Buddha. It's not about your mommy. It's not about your pastor. It's not about your daddy, your grandma, and nana. It's not about your kid. It's all about Christ. Christ is the word which was with the Messiah, with the Father, right? So, I'm going to go to the book of First Peter. Let's go over there. First, First Peter chapter 4, if I'm not wrong. Let me go over there. This is the book of First Peter chapter 4, verses 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God gave it. So, simple, man. You can't just make up things from your mouth. Talk. Go to the Bible and bring it out. When you see somebody be homosexual, go to the Bible, look for the scripture. You got your cell phone, Google it. Find, bring it out. Rebuke the brother, rebuke the sister. That's what you got to do. Tell them you can't be a father, you can't steal, you can't lie. You got to tell them, right? He said what? That God in all things. He didn't say only at church or only with, he said in all things. Whether you, you be working, you be studying, you be uh, in your house, you teaching somebody, whatever you do, it doesn't matter. You got to go in the Bible. You got to do based on the Bible, right? That God in all things may be glorified. Through Amashiach, Yahweh, Shia, the one you call ignorant in Jesus Christ, because the letter J or J, whatever you want to call it, was invented 500 years ago by a French guy, right? 
to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. So it's simple. I'm going to go to the book of Hebrew, chapter 4. I'm going to read Hebrew, chapter 4, verses 12. This is the book of Hebrew, chapter 4, verses 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful. So some of you get offended because I'm about to cut Asia. I'm about to call China for the weakness, right? It is what it is, man. You get caught or praise to the Most High. If you catch feelings, emotion, you start crying, all praise to the Most High, man. It is what it is. That's the word of the Most High. That's Christ for you, right? I'm going to continue. And sharper than any two-edged sword. So the Most High is telling you that His word is sharper than any double-edged sword. So it's even dangerous than double-edged sword. And let's see whatever it does. Pierce it even to the dividing a sound of soul. So you cut your soul. That means literally you put you to death. Literally, it's going to put you to death. Some people, they can just hear some scriptures, some verses in the Bible. They'll have a heart attack and just collapse on the ground and pass out and die straight up. That's what the Bible is made for. This is the most powerful book. It's not the Quran. I'm sorry. It's not the book of the dead. It's not the book of the Buddha. Whatever you name it. It's, none of, it's not Harry Potter. The hell with Harry Potter, man. Say, I'm going to continue. He said, well, a son of soul and spirit and of the joint. He said, oh, carry your spirit too. And the joint, so your bones, your marrow, whatever, he go through it. That's the that's the word of the Moses. That's Christ. And he's the discerner of the talk and intent of the heart. So your heart is your mind. If you haven't seen my other video, go check it out. Your heart is your mind. He's not talking about the organ. That's biology 101. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. So there's no one. You read it, they, they're going to get caught. Or when they see you bringing out the Bible, they got to go. I've seen it all the time when we go out with the brother to preach. As soon as you pull out the Bible, they got to go. Because they know that's the real book is going to cut them. And they're hypocrite. Mostly, you know who does it? Christian. They're the number one. He said, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked. He said, All things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. So, like I say, it's very simple, right? Now, why am I coming out of China? It just me? No, I'm a go. This is what the Most High say. Our forefathers, they have done it. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. The thing that happened in the past, that will continue to happen, right? And I'm going to bring it out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verses 8 to 9. He said, The prophet that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. So I'm about to prophesy against China and all the countries in Asia. I'm about to do it, right? The most I commanded to do it. Our forefather did it. The prophets that got against Babylon, Egypt, Assyria, the Roman, the Greeks, all of them. Right? So let's see. He said, I prophesy both against many countries, many countries. Like we prophesy against the USA. It's not because we live here, we see weakness, we're just gonna no man, we're done with the most high in Christ. That's the whole game. We down with the Most High in Christ, because they're the only one that can redeem us. And I'm gonna continue. And against great kingdoms, so great kingdom, China is a great kingdom, India is a great kingdom, the United States of America is a great kingdom, France is a great kingdom. They prophesy against great kingdoms, so not small. Of war, and so of war and of evil. And of pestilence. He said, The prophet will prophesy of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. So let's keep on moving. I'm going to keep on bringing the scripture out. I'm going to go to the book of Job. Let's see, because everything was prophesied. So this is the book of Job, chapter 9. So this is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. He said, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So he said, the most I tell you, whoever is ruling the earth today, they are the wicked. So the wicked are the ones ruling the earth. And we see who is ruling the earth today. Right? You have Caucasian, which are the, the so-called white people. And then you got the other nation, the Arabs. You got the Chinese, whatever, you know. They are the one, they, they are, they are, they are the one ruling, right? So let's continue. He said, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So they're the one ruling everything. So we happen to be working for them or doing things, but they're the one in control. You need to go to school, you need a bank loan, you need to buy a house, whatever. They're the one that are in charge of all those things. You see, so so be aware of that. So 
they had it they, in the Bible. There is the book called the book of the judges, right? So what happened? They covered the faces of the Israelites. So you don't know who are the Israelites today anymore. So with that, I'm gonna go right away in the book of Second Ezra. This is the book of Second Ezra. This is the book of Second Ezra. Bear with me one second. This is the book of Second Ezra, and I'm gonna read it because the subject matter was Asia, right? So you can look right here. This is the map of Asia. As you can see, you see the country. So all these countries, the prophecy I'm about to read concern all the country you can see. When you get a chance, go and Google Asia, map of Asia, and take a look at all the country. Take a look at all the country. Like you can see, like I told you, you see right here, you can see all the country. Okay? So what I'm about to read concern all those country. Let's find it out. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 13, and I'm going to read verses 37 through 38. And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked invention of those nations. So China wants to go place the moon, right? Okay, cool, right? It sounds cool to some of you. They're like, yeah, that's beautiful technology. Mm, okay, cool, guess what? The most I say, well, his son, Amashiach Yahawashiach, the one you call ignorant in Jesus Christ, he's going to rebuke them. Who? It's just going to be the invention. He'll rebuke the people and whatever they invented. So let's see. He said, and my son, and this my son shall rebuke the wicked invention of those nations. So all the drone, whatever you have, all the wicked technology you got, giving people cancer, all this tower that you got, internet, all the most will cut everything down. Christ will destroy all those things. There ain't going to be no internet no more. There ain't going to be no all those weakness, cell phone is going to be gone. Over. Game over. Right? So let's see. And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked invention of those nations. What are those nations? America, the European, the Asian, some African involved to whatever invention you make, whatever you design, right? To control the people, to oppress the people, to take money from them, whatever. Insurance, all. The most self destroy all those weakness, right? Let's see. I'm going to continue. He said, for the, for, he said, which for their wicked life are falling into a tempest. And shall lay before them the evil thought. So whatever they're thinking to do all this week, the most I will bring it up. And the torment where we they shall begin to be tormented. So they're gonna to be tormented. The most I say they will be tormented by Christ. Christ will torment them with tempest. He'll put them to death, he'll smite them. There'll be disease, famine, all those things. He said, Well, which are like unto a flame, and he shall destroy them without labor by the law, which is like unto the fire. So, like I told you in the beginning, man. He said he's gonna use the law to destroy them. Where are the law found? It's in the Bible. Okay, it's not on the TV. The law is literally written in the Bible. It's in the Bible, it's not in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this second Ezra chapter 15. I'm gonna go to 15. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 14. I'm gonna read it. Say, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So the most I said, destruction, death evil unto the world for the sword and the destruction draw the nigh so the most i say the sword what is the sword a weapon drones bomb gun knife whatever you can use right you say what well, drive and the destruction what is destruction does it mean to kiss you no you get put to death you get your head chopped off all this all this evil right let's see and one people shall stand up to fight against another people it's coming you trying to save these white people or you trying to save the Chinese man or running here. It's not going to go down that way, man. The most will move the spirit on Satan. And the same people you trust in, they're going to put you to death. Like you see right now, but you haven't wake up yet. Trump is doing it every day. He's bringing it up. Still, you don't get it yet. You don't get it. You so-called Negro, you so-called you so Latino and Native. You don't get this, man. You always want to be like somebody come and stab you. You still want to love the person, right? Let's see. The most I got you, eh? This is not about me. It's about the most I in Christ. He said, well, for there shall be, so I'm going to continue. He said, and swore in the hand, swore. That means they're going to get gun. All things is going to be in the hand, right? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They're going to invade one another, right? So this was given to who? To Ezra, right? I'm going to continue. They shall not regard the king nor princes. So they won't care about president. Or prime minister, they won't give it them because the most I don't want to move the spirit and everything start going down. And the causes of the action shall stand in their power, right? And men shall desire to go into a city 
and shall not be able so soon. They're going to block all this area. For example, Mexico, whatever. You won't be able to go anywhere. It's coming soon. Get ready for that thing. It's coming. You won't be able to fly. You won't be able to see daddy. You won't be able to see mommy. You won't be able to buy water. You won't be able to do a damn thing. Some, some people just going to drop dead because they can't survive without food. They are not used to like just not eating or reading the Bible, surviving on the word of those people. They're gonna collapse. They're gonna die. Then people start grabbing guns, going from store to store, house or shooting people. It's gonna go down like that. Watch, it's coming. It's just not the time yet. But get ready for it. it's coming. It's gonna go down. The most I have said it. You can't change. It. I can't change. It. It's very easy, right? And men say, well, for because of the pride, so you proud people, are very proud in America. They're proud around the world. But American people, they're very, very proud. They think they are this. They got big car. They got this house. I got this job. I got... Always, they're very proud. Very proud. Always, you know, trying to act like they're this, they're that. We're the best country. We're the, we're the richest. Watch this. It's coming here, too. It's not only China. The Chinese, the same thing they're doing is coming to them. Taking over Africa, Haiti, uh, Latin America. Oh, it's coming. The most I got them. The most is right there in the pen. He got them. He put them, their ass to death. And nothing we can do about it. Let, let's see. For because of the pride, the city shall be troubled. He said the city is in plural. The cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. So the most, let's say, all the houses in China, in America, in Europe, wherever there will be weakness, they will be destroyed. The most will destroy them. He said, and men shall be afraid. So you're going to be afraid. A lot of people going to be, they'll be so scared. Right? Especially you women. That like to go against the man. The time is coming now. You're going to look for the man. It's going to be too late for some of y'all. Some of y'all won't be able to bear it. You're just going to pee and poo in your pain, your underwear. It's going to go down that way. Hey, straight up. Be ready for that thing. You, that thing, you can do everything you think. You're tough for all this. Going against the, the man of the law. It's coming on you. Okay? It's coming on you. Because when the, the evil come upon you, let's see who's going to deliver you. Since you hate the man, you, you, you don't want to be taught by your your husband right let's see right be be afraid i'm gonna jump to verse 21 through 27 like as they do yeah this day unto my children so why is the most i say that this chinese they oppress us the white men oppressing us for so long because our sin that's why all this happening but they they don't stop it right they oppress us they take our natural resources, then they say this is a poor country in Africa, or we don't, or this this nigger, this coon, or whatever. Now they tell the native in all the illegal immigrant, the drug dealer, all this. Meanwhile, we know who consume more drug in the whole world? American. Who consume more drug than anybody on this earth is American. Right? Now they give giving everything to China. So China wants to go set up war, a moon. So the most I will rebuke the invention through his only because I'm a share, I'm a share. Let's continue. They say, I'm a continue. So Will I do also in recompense and recompense in their bosom? So the most I say, whatever those Chinese doing to us, our people in Africa, Latin America, whatever the white man's doing, whatever you're doing, this whole world, the most I will pay you back, man. The most I is the payback with the most I, eye for eye, teeth for teeth, for the most I. I don't have to do that, but the most I will do it. He has all the spirit, he got the mind, he will move all the spirit. They will take care of that. Or praise to the most I, but Shema Mashiach. And I'm going to continue. He said, that said the Lord God is not Allah. That said the Lord God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the 12 tribe of Israel. Okay, I'm going to continue. He said, He said, My right hand shall not spare the sinner. So, you weaker, you sinner, you want to be a homosexual, you want to be a father, you want to be a drug dealer, you want to be a killer, a gang member, you want to be a liar, you want to worship idol, you want to do all this, be a witch, killing people in the night, flying from this place, to do all this weakness. Okay, guess what? The most I got you, you say, well, my right hand shall not spare the sinner, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. So who shed innocent blood? White people, some black people do too, same thing, black on black crimes. The Latino, the native Indian, the, um, the Mexican killing Mexican. You go to a Salvador, you got this, 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 this devil Salvadorian killing their own people Salvadorian over nothing, over stupidity. The thing ain't no make sense. As if they can bring back that life. Are you the most likely to put somebody to death? No. But guess what? Since you're the wicked, like Cain, like Esau, guess what? That's what you're gonna do. For your father is who? The devil from the beginning, Cain. Okay. So I'm going to continue. He said, well, my right hand shall not spare the sinners. And my sword, the most I say, his sword, 
right? Shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. The fire is gone from from his wrath. It has consumed the foundation of the earth. And the sinner, like the straw that is kindled. So the sinner, they're going to get put to death. What to them that sin? So all of you Negro, Latino, Native Indian, that don't want to keep the commandment, thinking about going to church every Sunday, wasting your time, giving your poor money to the pastor, thinking all this, you don't want to keep the commandment, you will die in America, you will die in El Salvador, you will die in Benin, you will die in France, in Paris, in China, wherever you live, you will die just like the hidden. Okay, you don't want to keep the commandment? Oh, hey, get ready for it, right? He said, what to them that sin? And keep not my commandment. I told you, it's not about going to church. Get out of going to church. Is You need to wake the hell up. There ain't no time. Going to church ain't going to save you. It's not saving you from nowhere, buddy. You're going to get put to death if you don't keep the commandment. You don't keep the Sabbath. You're a man. You don't let your beard grow. You're a woman. You got to stop wearing paint. You got to wear dresses. Long dresses and long skirts. You got to cover your ass. You got to cover your whatever boob or whatever. You got to cover yourself. Keep the Sabbath. Okay? He said, said the Lord, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defy not my sanctuary. That's what he said. Defy not your body. You cannot defy your body. Okay? It's not the building. The most that dwell not in, in building or in temple built with hand. He's living in, in heaven. Wherever he set up his kingdom. Okay? And I'm going to continue. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. So you might lie to me. But the most I know you sin against him. So he got your nasty behind. For, for the Lord know all them that sin against him. And therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. So guess what? You're going to get delivered to death and destruction. Easy. Am I making it up? No. He's reading. Really? It's the second book of Ezra. Second Ezra 15. Okay. 15. Chapter uh, uh, 15 verses uh, 14. All the way. I read 14 through 18. Then I jump to 21. 21 through 27. So I'm a really for the Lord know all them that sin against him. And therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. For now are the plague come upon the whole earth, and you shall remain in them, for God shall not deliver you, because you have sinned against him. So you sin against the most like he's not gonna deliver you. He's not delivering you. So don't waste your time. I'm a gentle verse 45. He said, And they that remain under her shall do service unto them. Thou have put her in fear, and thou Asia. Now, there we go now. Now he's talking about Asia, like I showed you, right? This is Asia, right? Again, take a look at the country. India, China, Singapore, Indonesia. The name, the list is long, right? All these countries, or say the whole Asia. North Korea, South Korea, Japan, whatever you want to name it, Taiwan, whatever. The most like coming down you heavily. Okay, why? Because you take after, you follow after the USA. You copy the USA. You want to do everything the USA does, you want to do it. All the weakness, whatever weakness you want to do, you copy, you want to do it, right? You want to, yeah, you smile, you get it, you know computer India, all these things, right? The most I got you, you are going to die, you're going to perish. Hey, there's nothing you can do about it, right? Let's see. I'm going to read it, verses, 40, verses 46. And thou Asia, that are partaker of the hope of Babylon. Is he talking about the Asian Babylon? No, he's talking about America. Because everybody today follow after America, especially you Asian. Especially China, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, all of you, Indonesia, Taiwan, Singapore. A plane that just just got destroyed into the ocean where everybody died, right? Still, you won't wake up. You're still running after Allah, right? Those are nothing, man. Those are just war. You know how we call those one? Those are just the beginning. Those are just the beginning. Okay? Those are appetizer. So when you go to a banquet or you go to a party, they serve you what? Appetizer. It's a very late, tiny, maybe drink or whatever they give you. Or a baby, tiny cracker they give you just to have like appetite. Or appetite. That's just the beginning, man. Get ready. It's going to get worse than that. Two, almost 3,000 people got put to death by war. Hurricane or tsunami, whatever, right? A couple of weeks ago. It's not over. It's more coming, man. Get ready. You don't believe in the God of this Bible. You don't keep the commandment. You're going to perish. You're going to perish. It doesn't matter how many times you call on Buddha, how many times you call on Hindu, Hindu God or whatever, Asherah or Atris, whatever you name it. How many times you call on Allah? No. Call on Allah on that day, he won't respond. Because he ain't no God. He ain't no God. Okay? It's about the God of this Bible, the only living God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You don't bow down to him, you're going to get destroyed. You're going to get put to death. You're going to go into slavery and boom, over. Okay? Get ready. So, this is for you, Christian. And are the 
glory of her person. Because everything today, for example, in America is made in China. We're almost in the whole world. But China took over everything that USA does. Japan doing the same thing. South Korea and North Korea doing the same weakness, right? India, all of them, right? So the whole Asia. So it's not only China, it's the whole, the whole Asia, right? He said, woe be unto thee, woe unto Asia, thou wretch. You know what does it mean, wretch? Wicked, evil. He said, this Asian, the evil, the wicked. That's what the Bible said. The Most High said it. You have any problem with me? Ain't no problem with me. You take it to the Most High. Take it to Christ. And let's see. Complain to the Most High. I'm just happen to be reading his word. I'm serving who? I'm a share, I'm a share, I'm a share of Christ. That's what I'm just doing. Okay? And I'm going to continue. He said, What be unto thee, thou wretch? Because thou hast made thyself like unto her. Because China copy after the USA. Japan copy after the USA. India copy after the USA. North Korea, South Korea. The list goes to Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia. Whatever you name it. Nepal, all of you. You want to follow after the USA, right? Let's see. We, the most I got you. Thou hast made thyself like unto her. So you want to be like USA. And has begged thy daughters in Hordom. So he said, All you do is a weakness, right? He said, all this country, so the daughter is talking about, is talking about the country that are in Asia, they all follow after the USA. Whatever the USA said to do, they're down with it, right? Let's see. The daughter here represents the country or the nation that are within Asia, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, in thy lover, because China, this Asiatic country, they love America so much. They love the United States so much, right? Let's see. He said, which have always desired to commit hold on with thee you see what we shall have always desired to commit hold on with thee thou have followed her that is headed in all her works and invention so the most i think why does this asian country china japan north korea south korea or why do they follow america he said why you follow this country where the most i hate so much god hate america so much to the point that you still follow her god said i'll destroy you too it's not only the sinner whoever copied the sinner the most i put them to death too Right? That's what it is in the book of Romans. When you read Romans chapter 1, uh, verse 33 or 31, it tells you. Not only them that do, but whoever has pleasure in them that do it, they're all going to get put to death too. Right? Okay? He said, Thou hast followed her that is hated. Who is hated in her, all her works? It's the United States of America. Right? In all her works. And inventions. Like China want to go set up the moon. Now, where did he learn it from? Going to the moon. From the USA. When they went first, they were the ego has landed. Isn't that what they say? All praises, right? Therefore, say God, I will send plague upon thee, widow, widow who poverty, famine, sword, pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death, right? So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and pause. I'm going to come back right again. I'm going to continue with the same book, right? I'm going to do the part two of that.